floater from Chidi. And the second effort is pushed for the kill from Chesley. Cam Chesley, who was in a lot of need of a big bounce back weekend after going through some struggles. She did exactly that last weekend in a couple of straight set losses to Penn State. She was the shining moment for the Scarlet Knights. Here's Koya Dinovich. There is the big left-handed swing from Becca Koya Dinovich. It puts Rutgers in front. We mentioned Chesley had a combined 17 kills, 11 digs, and she hit 300 in the weekend against the Nittany Lions. Looking for the answer, Cleveland, yes. Small, clustered environment. And Chesley, big swing that time from the senior from Knoxville, Tennessee. The first time in Big Ten program history earlier this year, and they've got an ace to give them back the lead. And Dave Shondell needs a timeout. Rutgers putting the pressure on the Boilermakers. Newton didn't have a kill in her first seven swings. And she has turned it on quickly. Cheswick again, and again, it's Hornung from the back row, sprawling out to dig. And then it fell to Johnson, who all she had to do was place it, but there's her first error of the match. Good dipping serve from Cheswick, but there's again Hornung, who's one of the best defensive players in the conference. And the attempted pancake dig goes by the wayside, as it has been all year. But right now, just a superior amount of talent in the black and gold. The Scarlet Knights hitting 181 as a team. But they only have one block. It's Purdue has shown they are one of the toughest teams to block with how accurate and powerful they are. Here's Newton. Newton again, and there's a block, only the second in the match for the Scarlet Knights. And it comes from Christina Gurkovich and Ina Baliko. Gurkovich, who leads the team with 40 blocks on the season, she is their main rejector. Cleveland with the tip, and it just drops in. So after all the power we've seen from Grace Cleveland, she mixes in a, a chain. Here's Hornum. Cheshley down the line, a little misdirection, and Bush was still able to deal with it, but then miscommunication between Trammell and Newton. And it's an error on Purdue, just their seventh of the match. Boilermakers still hitting. Now just under 350 for the match. Cleveland. Maximova. Otek will set. And that's why she's wearing the white jersey. Doesn't do a whole lot of that. Shanna Otek with an error. Look, she's one of the best defenders in the Big Ten. She's got over 1,100 career digs. But that time Rutgers able to get Purdue out of system. The Scarlet Knights with their biggest lead of the night. It's a three-point lead here in the third set as Rutgers tries to send it four. We'll be right back on Big Ten Network Plus. Went on a 4-0 run to end the first set, a 7-0 run to end the second set. Do they have the closing power in them yet here again? Trammell, block back. Just the third block of the match for Rutgers, but it comes at a huge moment. It's Cheshley and Gurkovich that time. Makers. Koya Dinovich sets up a fourth set point, though. Rutgers. Back when they took a set off of Nebraska, that was the first time in program history that they took a set off a top 10 team in the Big Ten. They're trying to do it here for the second time this year now. 
And they have it right here. It's Corey Dinovich. Yes, the Scarlet Knights have this to a fourth set. 26-24. We will play a fourth set here in New Jersey on Big Ten Network Plus. Looking to get to 10-5 and five on the season and see if they can keep that top 10 ranking secure if they could beat Rutgers again here tomorrow night. Cheshleek down the line and another kill for Cam Cheshleek. But Purdue has been above 300 in terms of the hitting percentage for almost the entirety of this match. They have only made 10 errors today as a team. They've got 17 blocks. It has been an overall tremendous performance. Cheshley from the middle. Camilla Cheshley continuing to just swing away. She now has seven kills. Taking on the number 10 Purdue Boilermakers. Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. Pat Boyle with the rest of our crew. So delighted to have you with us. If you saw last night's match, it was a good one. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights down two sets to nothing. Scraped and clawed their way to a thrilling third set victory against Purdue. They pushed the Boilermakers to four. But ultimately, the number 10 team in the country was able to get it done. However, for Rutgers, second time this year that they took a set off of a top 10 team in the country. They've only done that four times since joining the Big Ten. Second time it's happened this year after they did it against Nebraska for the first time in program history earlier this season. And now this gritty Rutgers team led by first year head coach Caitlin Schweighofer will try for the big upset yet again here today. You see the Scarlet Knights, the starting lineup for them. It goes as follows. Madison Chidi, Cam Cheshleek, Christina Gurkovich, Ina Veliko, Anastasia Maximova, Becca Koyadinovich, and Shay McNamara. Meanwhile, for freshman of the year, Cam Cheshleek able to answer. She has been hot lately after struggled, after she struggled the last couple of weeks, had a big bounce back last weekend, a combined 17 kills and the two losses against Penn State. And had another fine performance yesterday, seven kills and six digs. This year finished third all time in digs with over 1,260. As that one hits the basketball hoops that hang above, always a reminder of the Rutgers men's basketball team that used to play here, men's and women's, and the men's team that went to the 1975 Final Four. Talking about Chidi. The libero for this team as a freshman coming in to fill gigantic shoes, and she really has been up for the challenge this year. There's a big ace for Koya Dinovich. That had some venom on it. Cheshleek, Cam Cheshleek back in the kill department. Cam, who was the beneficiary of Penn State, really keying in on, on Becca Koryadinovich and Maximova, which allowed the senior from Knoxville, Tennessee, to shine last weekend. Here is Maximova. That one blocked, pinballed around, kept alive. Now the Boilermakers on the attack. Here's Cleveland flying in. Collision between Cheshleek and Cheedy. They keep it alive. Battle at the net, still going. Here's Cleveland. And an error on Rutgers. Somebody touched the net. I think it was Zena Baliko. Kayla Schreihofer not happy with that call. I think she's going to challenge it. And indeed she is. It was a blocking error, the call on the floor to Ina Baliko. So Rutgers will challenge that campaign. The defense we mentioned, the ability to hit from everywhere on the floor. She's taken her hitting percentage. At one point this season, it was barely above 050. It's now over 150 on the season. 
And Chesley gets an ace to get Rutgers within three. And don't look now, but this second set getting awfully close. Middle for Cleveland, Koyaninovich with the dig. Rutgers getting contributions from all over now. Bush back set, Cleveland sent back again. Ellis tipped over. Rutgers has everything covered. Here's Cheshley sent back. Not that time though, Becca Koyaninovich has Rutgers starting to hit their peak. And Deshondale knows it. He wants to talk things over. The Scarlet Knights on a 3-0 run. They're back within two here in this second frame. Back here in this second set, Rutgers leading a comeback charge. How about that dig from Cheshley? Rutgers defense right now has been impeccable. They're getting to every ball. Purdue holding tough. Here is Becca. Sliced that one, tried to, it hits the top of the net and rolls wide. Snaps a 3-0 run. Has 18 kills and 10 blocks. Tipped through by Cam Cheshley. Fourth kill for Cam. Who again, who has bounced back nicely this weekend, or the last two weekends, I should say. Kayla Schweighoffer said that they were watching a lot of video with her from what she was doing well early on in the season after she went through some struggles, and it's really helped her pick her game back up. Laying out that time, Bush for the dig. Here's Newton blocked back by Gerkovic and Koyadinovich. Just the second block of the match, but that was a big one. It gets Rutgers back even here in this third set.